You sure do like to To your opinions talking big like Somebody's listening Nobody's listening Max! 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 Oh! 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 In fifth place, Sydney. Oh, I think they'll be back to being hurt my back sitting like that. They could be top four. If they made top four, I would not be surprised. In fact, if they were first, I'd not be surprised. I think they'll be very, very strong this year. Um, but I expect them to. Uh, I ex sorry. I expect the top five or six in general to be very strong. I expect it to be very close between first and six. Again, could be wrong. <laughs> but. Um, Sydney making top four could be. I put the Lions first, so I switch the positions. I switch around there. I just realized I put the Lions first. Just about the <laughs> goal scored or whatever you want to judge it on. Um, it, it it could be very tight, I think. So I haven't fifth, but I, they could be anywhere in the top five. Haven't said Collingwood yet. Between fourth and fifth is pretty damn huge. In fourth place, I've got Carlton. I know people are going to go crazy because people are convinced. I like Car I'm a Carlton. Another L, another L. Fan. <laughs> I, I don't mind Carlton. <coughs> I, I like them because they lose quite a lot, so it's good to see them do well for once. But people think I love them, I support them. It's just like, I never have. <laughs> I never have. There's precedence to that as well, because I really, like, even though I wasn't an A4 fan back then, I really loved the fact that the Bulldogs ended the drought. Um, I appreciate that Richmond ended up with like a, a drought of so many years. Uh, it was very cool to see Melbourne do what it did, ending their drought. Carlton didn't end a drought or anything, but considering they were losers pretty much every year, to see them actually like do something successful uh, was nice to see. I like seeing when teams that win for a while do well. As I've shown examples, but when I do it with Carlton, suddenly, oh... He's a Carlton fan. It's the same logic with, oh, he hates Richmond. This, it's just, it makes zero sense. <laughs> and, and it annoys me even more because, like, I grew up with, like, English Premier League football. Where that's very hostile and, like, you know, it's very deep on rivalries. If you said to me that I support Chelsea, I'd want to fight you. <laughs> like, like, we are very, like, tribalistic about our teams in England. So, like... I also feel that way of like Hawthorne as well. So for someone to say, oh, I support another team, it actually annoys me a bit more than it should because like I grew up with that culture of like, it's your team till you die. You pick your team and until you die, that's your team. And if anyone insults you or insults your team, you're there on site ready to defend. <laughs> so like... So like I, I'm just like it's, it's it's just like oh it is so infuriating so uh, yeah but that's why we introduced a new suspension rule in streams. If you say I support Carlton, which is obviously false, you're you're done for thirty minutes. So you know it's just you know Mr. Cat did it like twenty times. He he was gone for a few weeks. You know it was a good time as well. The streams are better. But let's move forward. But now that I put them forth in my predictions. They're going to go crazy, these people. They're going to be like, oh, yes, he's definitely a Carlton fan. He's admitted it himself, even though he showed... Even though there's an L, they literally were in the prelim the previous year. So, it's not my fault they choked. Seven-year membership Hawthorne uh, badge. He definitely likes Carlton more. Oh, yes, they're going to go crazy with this. He's put Carlton fourth. Oh, that, that confirms it. He is a Carlton fan through and through. I am not. That whole sarcasm part, that's Mars McGee uh, in the morning. He gets an, he gets up, brushes his teeth, and while he's doing that, looks in the mirror and, laugh, and talks about Davidoff. Uh, that, that talks about Davidoff supporting Carlton. He, 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 he practices his script for when he comes in the chat and says it. My days. Please stop. Stop it. I am not a Carlton fan. Stop. And Mr. Cat, he doesn't do it when he brushes his teeth. He does it in his sleep and in the shower. 
It's a very weird person. Maybe a Carlton Draught fan. I haven't tried it though. Probably should have tried it when I went to Tasmania two years ago. But anyway, um, not a fan of Carlton. I sat in the Carlton Draught stand in Launceston. Didn't drink Carlton Draught. Carlton, uh, as in the Carlton Blues. Okay, I just I, I, I like him. I like him more than Richmond and Collingwood and well, not anymore. I like Richmond more now. Oh, I like Melbourne more than them. Yeah, I like Melbourne more than Carlton. Isn't that evidence that I don't support Carlton? Why would I like Melbourne more if I support Carlton? You have no logic. No logic at all. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think they'll have a great season. Um, I think they'll go as far as a prelim again. I don't think they'll go further than that. Um, that's kind of a spoiler for a video I'm doing next tomorrow. Uh, either way, I'm keeping that in the video. <laughs> I, I think they'll do very well. I think they'll do well in the finals as well. I don't think they'll be a flag winning team this year. Um, but you never know, they could be. Um, but they need the top four finish, I feel. If they're going to win the flag, they need the top four finish. That's not why I've put them there. I genuinely think they can make top four in, in the, on their own merit. They'll at least be in the eight, I feel. Um, I think they can push. They left, they'll be, they'll have, they'll... I, I forgot they're also chokers. Be confident, you know. They, they got to the prelim last year. And they were 30 points ahead in the first quarter. And they only lost to a team that hasn't lost on the Gabba since, what, 2022. So, you know, it's, it's not like they got embarrassed or anything. You know, <laughs> they won two classics in the final. And, you know, they did well for themselves. So I think this year they'll push on. They'll do even better. They won't just make the eight. They will, they will be in top. I mean, they, they finished fifth, I think, anyway. But it, it still took them to the last few rounds anyway. But this year, I think they'll be comfortably at least top six. They'll be comfortably in the bracket. It's just a case of can they make top four. I always make it worse by talking more, man. <laughs> and I think they'll just edge it over Sydney. In third place, Collingwood. Um, in my defence, obviously it's another L. In my defence, they literally won the Premiership last year, okay? It, you see, a lot of these wrong predictions are just teams letting me down rather than my prediction being bad, but obviously it's still a wrong prediction. Some people think they'll slip down a bit, which is possible. I must. People were right. I don't think people thought they'd slip down that much, though. I think that can't happen, but I think they'll still be strong. I think they'll still be strong. Um, obviously, now that you know, now that they've been at the top, you know, they've been top all, all season. They've won the flag. People will start to figure them out a bit more. It's not like they'll be. They'll be. A bit People did start to figure out a bit more, to be fair. So that part was nice. A bit more predictable, I guess, if they keep playing the same way. Even though their way of playing is very effective. Um, but they can adapt. And I still think they'll be very strong. Uh, I think I don't think they'll be as dominant as last year. Because, again, I think teams will... Fight. Oh, they were not as dominant as last year. That is for sure, guys. <laughs> Nowhere near as dominant as last year. <laughs> Find more ways to beat them. Um... Definitely, for sure, especially in, in big games. I think uh, we could have some very classic games between Collingwood and Sydney, Carlton, GWS, Brisbane. I think all those teams are going to have some classics with each other, even Adelaide. Well. Um, and yeah, I think uh, they'll get less wins than last year, be less dominant, but I still think they'll be a top four team. I, I still think they'll be able to beat most of the teams in, uh, on the ladder. So I got them in third place. Uh, and we shall see what happens there. In second place, I have got the GWS Giants. Bear in mind, this is my flag winner prediction. I predict them to win the flag. Um, last year, I put them 17th. Severely underestimated them. In my defense, that still look, looked like a good good prediction up to like round 12, I think. Um, they won four of their first 12 games. So at that point, they didn't look, look like a final contender anyway. So I wasn't proven wrong until like... I just want to point this out, right? Last year, the same people that were angry at me for predicting Richmond in ninth were also angry at me for this. But that makes no sense. Because, like, I put them 17th last year or something. But everyone else had them very low, like nowhere near the 8. So I'm just like, how can you be mad at Richmond but not this? No, sorry, how can you be mad at Richmond but not the GWS Giants? Because... Richmond were expected to do well and they did badly. The Giants were expected to do badly and did well. 
So like you can't have it both ways. One's good and one's bad prediction wise. Anyway, that's last year. That's we're past it. I'm just saying last year, Richmond ninth and GW seventeenth. Like GWS were expected to do bad, whereas Richmond were expected to do well. So like either one prediction's good and one isn't. Like anyway. That's a long time ago. Towards the end, <laughs> but I mentioned it here anyway. Streak, like five, six games or something. Then suddenly they were in the conversation and they won enough games at the end of the season to make the eight. So fair enough to them. They did very well second half of that season and were great in the finals. They almost beat Collingwood, the most dominant team all season. They almost went to their backyard at the MCG and they were just a few points away. So that's a lot to take away. They... For, they Again, they lost four of their first 12 games. <laughs> they lost four of their first 12 games, yet they came back from that. Not only made the eight, but they won their first two finals and they almost got to the grand final. They were a few points away from the grand final. And when you consider that they won four of their first 12 games, that's very impressive. So I think this year they're not going to have a bad start. They'll be much stronger, much more confident off the back of last year. And I think they will go all the way and win the flag. At the very least, I think they'll be top four. At the very least, I genuinely believe they can go all the way. And if they can finish top two and get a home final, if they win that, get another one, that could be amazing for them. I think they'll be better at the MCG this time around as well. Um, they've not historically had a great record there. Not that, not that they have a long history anyway, but <laughs> before last year, their record at the MCG wasn't too great. You know, they were even listening to Hawthorne. <laughs> and we were, that's when we were... We still are pretty bad, but... Even now, uh, we've got one win against the current top four, and that's against the Giants at home. So I just want to point that out. We were like really bad a couple of years ago, and we still managed to beat them. So I think the record at that ground will improve, and it needs to, to be honest, if you want to win the, win the flag anyway. Uh, but I reckon they'll be very good, uh, both home and away, and uh, very tough to beat, I reckon. I think they'll win a lot of games obviously you have to to finish second but that's where i predict them to finish uh but if they finish like third fourth even fifth i would not be surprised but i reckon second could be where they finish in first i'm taking that as a w obviously position one off uh but 90 percent of my reasoning there made complete sense um the only thing letting it down is their form after the first few rounds i even said strong start uh, after their strong start, they had like a, a major blip. They just didn't, weren't playing well. Looks very beatable. But recently, they've gotten back to the team they were at the start of the season. Obviously, not the best of endings, but that was more the Bulldogs just playing very well against them. But either way, I, I also think they fell asleep as well at the same time. But the Dogs are just very good that day, I feel. Um, but apart from that very last game, good end to the season. Um so yeah, my, I think my prediction looks good. Uh, obviously, they've got to win the flag as well. But in terms of like ladder position and everything, and my reasoning behind it, aside from the bad form they had in the middle of the season, I feel like I cooked there. So we'll take that and St. Kilda. <laughs> so, uh, and I put the Lions in first and they're fifth. So I know that's going to be wrong. But hopefully there's some redemption in my uh, reasoning. And uh, we shall move on. Place, I've got the Brisbane Lions. Uh, normally grand finalists, um, especially the losing grand finalists, uh, tend to slip away quite far. I don't think the Lions will. I don't think their era of finishing top four is over. I mean, they finished fifth. <laughs> but, and also this looked bad at the start of the season because they had a bad, season, bad start to the season. And they looked, at one point looked like the season was over. So the fact they even made it back into the eight was brilliant. And they almost made it top four. They probably should have. But, you know, 10 wins in the last 12 games, 9 win streak. The bad start to the season did cost them in the end in terms of a top four spot. But, you know, fifth place is still good. And they'll be dangerous uh, in round two, in week two. But he, obviously they've got to beat Carson first. And there's no guarantee there. Uh, but And it will be a tough second game away in Sydney against whichever team they play. It will be tough, but, uh, you know, they've they still got something in them. But, yeah, not as strong as I predicted them anyway. Still an out prediction-wise. Well, finishing the eight, I guess, rather, because they did finish, like, fifth or sixth at one point. Um, but they've had a few final series. They've good experience. Their finals record, their regular season record has been great for most of the seasons in the last few years. 
the finals record was not great until 2022. That's when it started to improve. And in 2023, they were very good. Obviously, being great at the Gabba definitely helped. Um, and in the grand final, at the MCG, they only lost by a few points. So they were a few points away from beating Dublin Collingwood. Um, a goal away, really. <laughs> Who knows if the umpire um, didn't play advantage in that. <laughs> I, d I know there's people blaming that decision for the, for the game at the end, but I don't believe... I mean... Let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. I feel like the, the result in the end was fair overall. But obviously I can understand it. What I was trying to say was that umpire decision at the end of the game, I don't think that's the reason the Lions lost, is what I'm trying to say. I, I don't think the reason that Collingwood won the flag was because of the umpires. That's just what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> I think there's a lot of decisions that were wrong, but they went against both sides. It's just that because that one was right at the end of the game, that's why that got more of the, you know, more of the spotlights. But I feel like the umpires were bad towards both teams. I don't think they were, like, overly biased in that specific game. But obviously, because that incident happened right at the end of the game, there was questions about it. I get that. But I don't think Brisbane lost because of the umpires, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I agree about that. But, you know... Brisbane potentially could have been an umpire decision away from winning the flag. Like it was pretty close. That game was close throughout. They were very competitive throughout, and uh, even when they fell behind, they always fought back. And at the MCG, they don't, they don't historically have the greatest record as well. So they did really well last year in the grand final and just throughout the season. Unfortunately, it went wrong for them. But I think they won't be a team that slips away. First of all, they didn't get blown away. There was no blowout. They they still you know they almost won. It can still affect you, obviously it can still affect you, but I think off the off the back of that, the fact that Actually never mind. West Coast Eagles won. I was gonna say twenty eighteen West Coast Eagles after that went downhill, but they won the flag, so that's a bit different. Sorry, my mind's uh, sorry, they my bad. <laughs> flag. I reckon they'll be they'll have enough motivation to go again and really I'd like to point out as well, what if this year's a blowout as well when you consider that normally the close grand finals are Collingwood, right? 2023, 2018, 2010, first game. You normally need Collingwood for a close grand final. Or Sydney, actually. Sydney, West Coast. But they got to play West Coast for that to happen. And they can't. Someone's going to smash someone in the grand final, unfortunately, guys. Like, go all the way this time. I don't think they'll go all the way. I think the Giants will do it. But I reckon Brisbane will be minor premiers at least. I could be wrong. Um, but if if they slip below the top four, I'd be very shocked. I think I think they're a top four guarantee. I could be wrong again. <laughs> Even though to be fair, they should have been there. To be fair, they should. Have, they were only two points off. Okay, they were two points off. Third. I'm taking that. I just said. First and six will be it's not a good close, prediction though. But I think they're a top four guarantee. Um, and I think it's a good prediction based on the expectations, but not based on how the season's gone. Be strong in the finals. So we shall see. As long as they can keep the, uh, the Gabra Fortress as well. If they finish top two, I mean, they're going to be hard to stop. They didn't keep it a fortress. <laughs> they still look strong though. Obviously, they can be stopped in the grand final. But I think this time they can learn from that Collingwood game and go again. Who knows? The grand final could be a rematch from 2023. That's very possible. No, well. definitely not. Both teams are more than strong enough to do so. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I think the grand finalists will be in the top six that I named. So Brisbane, Giants, Collingwood, Carlton, Sydney, Adelaide. Two of those be in the grand final. Collingwood, Carlton, Sydney, Adelaide. <laughs> Give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> Collingwood, Carlton. Uh, obviously, Sydney, uh, fair enough. Collingwood, Carlton, Sydney, Adelaide. <laughs> Don't be a grand fire. <laughs> I want to cry. Oh, my days. This is... Sure, this might be the worst one yet. Because I, mean, I know I've got the Giants and St. Kilda fine, but, like... I usually get at least one, like, exact position... Which I haven't got this year. It can't be much better than last year, to be fair. Last year, I almost called... I mean, I got the grand finalist. I got the minor premier. Didn't get the flag winner, right? And I also called a part of Carlton Prelim. But 
Oh my days. <laughs> in my opinion. So let me know what you all think. I think I, done, I did this in one take. That's unusual for me. I, I have a stutter. <laughs> if you didn't know, I have a stutter. It's a good thing it's not live because you know. <laughs> That's why you never see me on a podcast, because I do have a stutter. So I feel like me talking for two hours would uh, go wrong. i definitely make errors. Um, expect like a live ladder prediction, uh, ladder predictor at some point, probably. I, I mean, I want to do that as well. We'll see how we can compare that to my main ladder. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how these predictions do. Let me know your ladder predictions down below. Don't be scared, you know. You might end up on the list end of the season, but it's all in good fun. <laughs> do not be afraid to tell me what you think even if you think i'm an idiot tell me i'm an idiot it's fine you know just no 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 swear words <laughs> or any other uh, crazy words that youtube might not like um or i might not like <laughs> but yeah no you're free to call me an idiot for my predictions you know but you're not free to say I support carlson because that is false call me dumb call me stupid but i am standing by my predictions okay and i do not support carlson and i do Man said with chest, you can insult me all you want. Don't you dare insult who I support as a football team. Do not hate me. Now that's me. personal. Just to clarify, just to clarify, this is my team. Yeah, seven years. Seven. And people tried to comment saying, that's actually a one, mate. Uh, wait till I get eight next year. Then we'll see who's laughing. Seven years. Also been following the sport. About, what's it? 2017, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is my eighth season. My eighth season. Okay? I'm just saying. Seven. <laughs> Seven years. Yeah. Anyway, this is your boy Zavid. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. This camera lasts half an hour at a time. And it's almost half an hour. Like 10 seconds. So, that's perfect timing. See you later. Let's take it. It still lasts half an hour, there's got like three minutes left now. It's the same camera, it's a very good camera. I use it only to record videos here. I record reactions on my second channel with it. And I record stupid videos with it, which I'm going to start recording soon. I've been spending over an hour, hour and a half recording videos now. I thought it'd be a bit quicker, uh, but it's fine. Plenty of content for you guys, all recorded in one day. A bit longer to edit though. Uh, but yeah, this was the ladder you just heard. This is what you just heard. Um, and this was ladder, ladder that we got from me doing ladder predictors. So I predicted every single round, every single game. I got Sydney first. I got GWS in fifth, which is not great. St. Kilda. Ooh. All right, let me go down. Uh, so Sydney, correct. Giants, one off. Uh, obviously quite a few wrong. Western Bulldogs, one position off. No, two positions off, sorry. I got Port Adelaide missing out. Uh, Geelong. Gold Coast. I got St. Kilda exact position. Which I'll take. Frio. Got Frio missing out, to be fair. North, too high. Essendon, too low. Richmond, bottom three, to be fair. And West Coast, bottom three. I got two of the bottom three. And I got two exact positions, so at least I got something better in my ladder predictor. I remember in this, uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, you'd think water would help you with your health. Um, Cardman was in the chat and he was like, doesn't L Davidoff because St. Good were very low the whole video. But uh, in the end, I cooked with that, so uh, we shall take that. Oh, look at this. This is for stupid idiots. Let's uh, <laughs> move on with that. Hope you enjoyed. It's going to be a lot of videos. Battery's almost dead, actually. I need to uh, use a spare battery. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And uh, even though there's one minute left, my battery sign is flashing red on the screen. So uh, I shall see you in a while. Crocodiles. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it.